Hey everyone. So I think this is now working. <laughs> uh, how's everyone doing? So I decided to try to go live. Um, I'm, I, I'm live on Facebook and I'm live on Rumble right now. Uh, hopefully live on Rumble. I've been trying to figure this one out. But um, yeah, so let's see. I'm just testing to see if this works. Hopefully it does. Um, but anyway, you guys, so today I really wanted to kind of talk a lot about all the stuff that's kind of coming out and, uh, it's working, it's working on Facebook. <laughs> I'm really confused about rumble. Let me just this one more time. Uh, I don't understand what, oh, okay, great. It's working on rumble. Okay, perfect. All right now. Okay. Sorry guys. This is my first time doing this on rumble by myself. So I'm trying to utilize Rumble a lot more. So let's see what we got. So yeah, so anyway, today there's a lot of things I wanted to talk about related to all the stuff um, about the moon, things on NASA. Uh, so all these different things that are going on. So as we all know, China came out and said that they're investigating this like cube light like thing on the moon. Right. Well, the reason why I want to talk about this is because this happened a while ago and there's no update. It's like we're investigating this. Everyone's like, yeah, OK, what is this weird thing? You know, it's like, I don't know, NASA is saying it's probably like, a you know, some kind of weather balloon experiment on the moon or something like that. But this happened on December 7th. And since then, silence. And instead, we got NASA <laughs> coming out, hiring 24 priests to possibly prepare the world for alien life, right? So um, that's that in itself. There, let me bring this up here. here. There it is. So NASA hires priests to prepare humans for contact with aliens. So... This is really fascinating. So again, this is this is the news that came out a couple weeks um, after this discovery on the moon, whatever this is on the moon. Now, what I want to get into is Ken Johnston, and we interviewed him for um, our Edge of Wonder show, but he had some really great. Uh, photos and evidence of structures on the moon, which I want to get into a little bit here when we, uh, or when I get into this, um, hold on one second, you guys, I just need to pull up a article real quick. Um, okay. Yeah. So, uh, let's get into some of the stuff related to, um, well, okay, actually, before I get into the Ken Johnston stuff, the, uh, the main thing that's really coming out right now is the, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to make myself big, alien life forms, unlike anything we've seen, could be hiding in the clouds of Venus, scientists suggests. So this came out on the 21st. Now, What's been fascinating with this is that science have been trying to figure out what is going on with, um, with the clouds and Venus. Because according to mainstream science, the clouds, the formations, they shouldn't exist. It's almost like something created that. And for the first time ever, mainstream science is saying that we could be seeing something that is creating these clouds. Now, they're kind of relating it to like microbes. So, you know, it's, it's like, like, for example, here's a quote in the article. We know that life can grow in acid environments on Earth, but nothing as acid as the clouds of Venus were to believe to be. To be. But if something is making um, these clouds, then that will neutralize some of the droplets and make it make them potentially more habitable. So they're kind of suggesting that you know something's in these clouds and or like you know neba kind of things that are small or whatever. But this brings up 
even more points, especially because this relates to Venus. And um, I'm sure you're all familiar with, uh, with Valiant Thor. So <laughs> that's something else I want to get into as well. Now, if you're not familiar with Valiant Thor, hold on one second, you guys. I just have to pull up an article real quick for myself to kind of prepare. Okay. Now, if you're not familiar with Valiant Thor, let me show you some photos. Um, you know, and, and there's a lot of conspiracies around this, like, oh, you know, he doesn't exist. He does exist. And um, so he was somebody that I think I, Eisenhower supposedly worked with, who was a uh, alien extraterrestrial from Venus. And um, there's two photos and people get really confused with, with these photos because um, they're very different. Both of these photos are very different. So one of them, which, sorry, I'm having technical difficulties as usual. <laughs> okay, here we go. So let me share my screen here. Okay. Oh, something happened there. It's not the right. There we go. Okay. So, sorry, guys. So, this one is so, according to Phil Schneider, this is the, um, the real Valiant Thor. Now, the other one that everyone seems to know is this guy here. And again, this this is obviously an older photo. Some people suggest that this guy's Valiant Thor. The other one is saying the other guy. So Phil Schneider, if you don't know who he is, he was one of the, the main whistleblowers that came out in the early 90s. Um, and his fingers are gone. And he said that he was attacked by a ray gun with like a by an alien, like a kind of a stereotypical gray that they were um, they were in an area they weren't supposed to pee in Dulles Air Force Base or the Dulles Base in New Mexico, and he was shot but with a with a gun, and then he actually died um, soon after he came out. He was killed, and there's a lot of conspiracy revolved around that. But this isn't going into Phil Schneider. I'm just kind of saying that he was suggesting that his father worked with Valiant Thor. So. Um, so that's why this is so fascinating about Venus, because there's there's a lot of aspects to Venus that there's extraterrestrials here on Earth from Venus. Now, whether that's true, I'm not really sure, you know, but um, I have met a couple people <laughs> who, um, you know, say they are from Venus, but I don't know, you know, but anyway. That's that's a whole other conversation for a completely different time. But um, yeah. so what I do want to show you, though, is some of the images from Ken Johnston and Ken Johnston here. Um, ah, man, I keep opening this in the wrong tab. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. There we go. So this is Ken Johnston and he He's what's called a civilian astronaut. Uh, he didn't actually go to space, but he worked at NASA. And, um, oh man, sorry guys, I'm like having some issues with my thing here. Okay, and oh, there we go. So this is Ken Johnston uh, when he was working with NASA in his younger days, he's not, he's no longer working in NASA. He quit a while. He like retired a while ago, but, uh, we did interview him for edge of wonder. And his story was that he, he was giving, given some photos from the moon, from one of the, the missions, um, which is a whole Mandela effect on its own because most people just only know one mission, but there was actually 24 people, 24 Americans that walked on the moon from Apollo 18. So yeah, that's something new. But anyway, so he was given these photos, was supposed to destroy them. He went down, started looking at the photos and he actually kept some and he kept them for years because he didn't really quite know what to do with them. And so 
uh, this this is an article that's about Ken Johnston, and um, this doesn't really show. I mean, it shows like an image in, in the main on the main um, thing, but it doesn't really get into a lot of the images. It just kind of tells his story, and but what's fascinating is that here are some of his actual images. And if you can see, these look like a bunch of lights. I wonder if I can zoom in there. There we go. They look like a bunch of lights on the moon. <laughs> this is actually uh, Apollo 15. And again, I mean, I don't know. All of this is like a weird Mandela effect because most of us remember like Apollo 12, Apollo 13 tried, and then that was like, I don't even know what's going on now. But here's another one. So as you can see, this structure over here. So this seriously looks like it looks more man-made. Um, like over here, it's saying this is like a like a statue. I don't know. That could just be rocks. But over here does look really interesting into what this is. Now he's suggesting that this whole area is like some kind of like base. Um, and there's like, like you can see kind of right here now or a statue or something. I don't really know, but um, there's some just interesting things with the visors here. But this to me caught my attention because what's this reflected in the sky? <laughs> so anyway, um, you know, th there's obviously some things going on here. Um, th th these are just supposedly some cables that, that were found on the moon. Um, but this is on the moon and this is pretty obviously a pyramid. So what's a pyramid doing on the moon? So yeah, anyway, I just kind of wanted to bring these up to kind of give some background on some of this stuff. Um, so yeah, so getting back to the Chinese, what did they find on the moon, right? So according to Ken, when we talked to him and he had more photos in his book, I mean, he was talking about there was a structure that was like two miles high. I mean, think about that. That's like massively big that, you know, all of this stuff is mostly on the dark side of the moon, which is why we can't see them. So, you know, it's weird to me that China is like saying, hey, look, we found something weird. And then it's just silence from NASA, from the UK, from China. There's nothing else. And now we have NASA coming out saying that they hired these 24 people to um, for possibly prepare the world for there's aliens exists. But why now? That's the big question. After all these years that we're all talking about this stuff, I mean, every all these all these things are everywhere related to UFOs now, right? I mean, you can just see them everywhere. You can see everything that's going on. Like, why is this stuff all happening right now? And I think this is a really good question and the, probably the most important question that we have to find out. I mean, it's great that we're getting disclosure, but from what aspect? And are they going to use this for a deeper agenda? And that's the big question. So, um, but there are a lot of people coming out recently talking about uh, UFOs, talking about aliens and, and all these different things. So, um, for example, let me share this. So, I mean, we, we have the, the um, you know, the, the Tic Tac UFO thing, which is like everywhere and everyone knows about it now and the Pentagon's involved. But speaking of which, Harry Reid, he just passed away and... Uh, I don't know. Did he get the, you know, he had a heart attack. He was in his eighties, but that's something else. But anyway, he was one of the people involved in the, in the Pentagon aspect of this. But, um, so they're, they're trying to pass new legislative, legislative legislation 
in Congress to investigate more of you, the UFO sightings. And, you know, if all this was like a joke, then what would be the need to, um, to do all this, right? And this is like the big question. So this is really fascinating that all, like I said, all this stuff is coming out now. So either one, we're looking actual at UFOs and aliens. Two, it's like the Chinese or Russians doing something to create uh, these ships. Now, Hitler actually, I mean, there, there's rumors that Hitler had these during World War II. And there's actual photos of these, of these like, you know, crafts. Now, supposedly they couldn't move very fast, but they did represent uh, craft that looked like very similar to UFOs. And actually, I don't have those on top right here. But anyway, you know, the, those definitely exist. And then, um, this keeps happening. Then recently, there was another article. Um, sorry, it's just a second. There was another article about um, Mars and a huge crash disk shaped UFO object spotted on Mars. So, this is very fascinating. Um, the, you know, it's like it definitely, I don't know, it looks like almost like the Millennium Falcon or something. But, um, you know, it's like so weird because all this stuff is coming out this month. So this was this came out on um, December 5th. Uh, you have, again, the, the moon stuff that came out and now like NASA with these priests. So, you know, it's like everyone wants to know what is going on. And I do, too. Uh, then, OK, Lockheed Martin, um, Ben Rich, the declared on his deathbed extraterrestrials ufos are real now this is from 2016 but i wanted to bring this up because deathbed confessions they consider very legit um in in court a court of law and as evidence and so why would a guy who worked at skunk works and Lock lockheed martin and everything all of a sudden say extraterrestrials are real before he died and he's not the only one there are quite a few people that have came out on their deathbed saying this. And, you know, so the big question has to be really asked, like, is this because, you know, what, so what's going on? Are they bad? Are they good? Um, is there both aspects to this? Are there, you know, the negative ones? Have they, you know, done something to control some of the world governments? I don't, I don't know. You know, I'm just bringing up questions here. And unfortunately, I don't have a lot of these answers. But when we look at the transhumanism aspect, and by the way, like Rob and I from Edge of Wonder, we, we, uh, we just we have a whole series of transhumanism on Rise TV, if you haven't seen it. Um, so uh, that's our like main platform. So a lot of this technology, I mean, if you look at technology um, from the past, like let's just say, okay, if you look at airplanes, airplanes haven't changed much since our great great grandparents, since world, really, really since World War II, haven't really changed a whole lot. Yeah, they're like, you know, more modern and, you know, equipment is more, you know, has a lot more computers and everything else inside of it. But we're still running using like you know, jet fuel, gasoline, gasoline and coal, all these things. We're still the power plants like the power plants are one thing. We're still using the same. I mean, now we have nuclear power. Nuclear power came in the 1950s. So we do have nuclear power, but nothing has happened in the world of of um, energy sources i mean we have solar power we have wind power but that's like very small compared to you know all these other aspects of looking uh, look when you look at our technology and how advanced things are i mean you know 20 years ago we we, we i mean even 10 years ago you know i think like the first smartphone what came out in like 2008 or something 
2007, 2008. And it, it's like now we can, we can do like anything with our phones. We have quantum computers. We have like our, our, our computers, like what, how we use our computers and how technology is growing. I mean, think about it. We have like Elon Musk trying to put chips in our brains that we can connect through a smartphone and control our own, like, you know, secrete what we want through our glands like oh, i want a more serotonin and you can like use an app for that and yet we're still using the same power that our great great grandparents used to power their homes so something's not right and i i think that you know a, a lot of this stuff does come down to like who has the most control right so that's what all this really comes down to but but i think with the all the uh, I'm trying to look at some of you guys's comments too, but um, yeah, they could be. Um, Bianca says they could be using a false flag invasion to collect slaves from other planets or Mars. Yeah, you know, so I, I think that a lot of the um, a lot of this that's coming out, I'm just kind of weary about it because it's like, why, why now, you know, with all these things coming that are coming to the surface, and I, I don't know what the overall plan is, could. Um, you know, so now obviously with NASA hiring all these priests, they're trying to prepare for, for the Christian aspect. And I know there, there's a lot of people on both sides of this what kind of, when you bring up the topic of like aliens, it's a little taboo, right? You know, people are like, Oh my gosh, like you're talking about aliens. But I think, I think one thing that's really important is that in, in a lot of Congress, people are talking about this. People in politics are talking about it. Um, talking about how it we're not necessarily saying that aliens are real it's like we know for a fact there's all these things in our skies the big question is where is this coming from if it is aliens are they a threat if it's something like china is that a threat obviously china was launching sonic weapons in the sky and the media just turned a blind eye to it no one really even talked about it so that, there's like a big issue here with China and, and our media. And that's a whole other topic on its own. But um, so we all kind of know like what NASA's up to. And, this, and then this, you have the Space Force. From my understanding, the Space Force was created to counteract everything that China is doing. So um, because NASA's not doing anything and probably not so much the air force when it comes to like space and China and all these different things. So to me, to my understanding, that's what the space force is doing. But, you know, I think what bothers me is that all these things are coming out and yet nothing's really being told to the public about what they're finding. Right. I mean, I mean, you have, um, I think it was Buzz, Buzz Aldrin who came out saying that um, uh, there's like structures on the moon or um, I mean in Mars. He's talking about like monoliths on Mars and he's like, what, what are they doing here? You know, and they kind of cut off the interview when he was talking about this. Um, so if NASA is preparing to tell the world and even if it's not like, you know, aliens in, in a sense of like what we're thinking about, like, could you know, flying UFOs and everything else, even if it's just like microbes and small things and stuff like that, it's really going to start shifting everything because everyone's going to start asking the same questions. I mean, about like, whoa, is there other is is there beings on other planets? If we found things in Venus in in the sky, even could that be if there's water on the moon, if there's water on Mars, could life survive there? And we already know that life be looking on earth that they found, they found these um, kind of like snail, like weird things in lava, not to mention like, a, oh, I forget how many miles it was underground underneath Antarctica and frozen ice, they also found micro like these um, these living organisms there that they've never seen before. So there's all these things that are going around all around us and NASA has just been very quiet about it. So, you know, maybe because everything that is going on in the world right now, maybe they're preparing for invasion. Maybe they're trying to start a one world religion 
that wouldn't be the best interest of the people, um, you know, that that's also kind of going around. So there's a lot of things happening and I just really wanted to show all these weird things that are kind of going on and that, you know, I think we should be careful. We should use discernment and we should, no matter what comes out, whether it does come out saying like aliens exist or anything else. I mean, I feel like we should be very composed with all the information that is going to come out and um, not just dive into it. Like, Oh, finally, like everything's coming out and, and get super excited about it because if, if there are coming out saying that that is possible that aliens do exist or they found life um, on other planets, then um, it's going to change a lot of things. So for good or for bad, whatever, whatever that is, we just need to be prepared for that. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all I kind of had for you today. I didn't really want to go too hard into things. Um, this was like the first live that I was kind of doing to see how things are going to go. I launched my YouTube show. Um, this is on Rumble. It's also on Facebook right now. So uh, thanks all of you guys for watching. And uh, I don't know if you guys have any questions. I was trying to monitor the comments a little bit here, but um, yeah, it's kind of hard to uh, see everything. So because um, I'm doing this all by myself, that's why I was having some issues, but yeah, um, I, I will. Um, my my plan is to go live once a week right now, so I think I will go live on Wednesdays. Uh, I was going to do it on Tuesdays, but we have so much going on on Tuesday. I think I think Wednesday is better, and um, I'll do some pre-recorded stuff too. And I also have more shows on Atlantis and kind of all these lost civilizations that will come out on my uh, on Rise TV on my YouTube channel, or and also. Uh, on my YouTube channel, I mean. So, um, uh, man, I always do this. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So the, there's the Rise TV thing, and you can go to Rise TV. We're actually having like a this special right now, where if you guys sign up, you get um, you can get three um, a free trial to see if this is what you want to do. Rob and I are continuing more shows with edge of wonder. We kind of took a little hiatus, but we are, we're back producing more stuff. Um, I, like I said, I have my own, sh own show on there too. So yeah. And then also all this, I mean, this is kind of totally off topic, but all these things with, um, Ghislaine mask Maxwell came out today and I think we'll, we'll go and, uh, we'll definitely talk about all of this for our, well, what would be our Friday night live, but we're actually doing it tomorrow because the uh you know friday's a holiday new year's happy, or new year's eve happy new year's everyone so we're gonna go live for our friday night live show up tomorrow night 7 30 eastern time and we'll get in all this stuff what's going on with the with the maxwell trial and i don't know i mix opinions you know i i really do i i mean in, in, a, in a perfect world all the media would be jumping on this saying like, oh, we were wrong. There really is a sex trafficking ring, but cult ring, but, you know, they're not going to do that. And I think that this is we'll see what happens. But anyway, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Also, Trump coming out on the uh, on the interview with um, Candace Owens. I have a lot of thoughts about that. Seth and I shared uh, a lot on our last show that we did on America on the edge on rise TV, but we'll definitely get into that uh, tomorrow as well. So um, yeah. So I hope all of you guys are great. Hope you guys have a wonderful um, new year weekend. Um, and if I don't see you, then definitely see you next year. So thanks for all you guys watching and sorry, this is a little bit rough. This is my very first live on my own where I'm trying to do everything myself. <laughs> <laughs> so so next time will be better hopefully so all right guys thanks so much and until next time i'll see you out in space <laughs>